Some people just naturally know what fabric combinations they will like. And other people are adventurous to try combinations and just throw things together and see what happens. But for a lot of people, choosing fabrics for your quilt can be pretty stressful. So today I'm going to share with you seven ways that you can pick fabrics for your next quilt project. Welcome to Evita Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, bujagi and embroidery. Today I'm going to show you seven ways that you can choose fabrics for your next quilt. Two color quilts are classic. Red and white and blue and white are pretty traditional options, but you don't have to be limited by that. You can use any two colors that you want. Pink and brown, green and yellow, purple and orange. The combinations are pretty endless. To keep it really simple, you could go with just two fabrics, one of each color, or you could use a bunch of fabrics of each color to give it a bit more interest. Either option looks great. Next time that you're in a fabric store, look at all the beautiful prints that are there and choose one that you really like. Then you can choose other fabrics that coordinate with that one. So for example, I have this multicolored fabric here, so I can look for other fabrics that would go with it. And as a help, most fabrics on the selvages have these little dots printed out of all the colors that are used in printing this fabric. So I can use those as a pretty good starting point. So from this one, I found all these colors that you can see really reflect the print that I liked. Now, sometimes if your print has a really big scale, that won't fit into the pattern that you're making, but that's still fine. You can use this as a backing or you might choose to not even use this at all. It just is your inspiration that leads to this fun combination. Even if you like putting fabric together, sometimes it's really nice to use a collection. After all, fabric collections are made by artists whose job it is, is to put colors and patterns together. This collection is Mountain Gems by Island Petite, and you can see that any of these fabrics would match any of the other ones, and you can't go wrong with whatever you choose out of this collection. Another great thing with fabric collections is that a lot of collections offer pre-cuts, such as two and a half inch strips or 10 inch squares, and these are a great way to get a lot of different fabrics that you know will blend together, as long as that fits the pattern that you have. There's color inspiration everywhere. Check out paint collections, decorating ideas, or even advertisements to see what kinds of colors you like together. There are also websites and apps that will create palettes for you. So you can play with one of those. They're just fun to look at. And then when you find one that you like, you can take that along to the store and use that to match fabric to. If you're really struggling, be sure to ask for help. The workers at quilt shops deal with fabric every day and most of them are quilters themselves. So if you need suggestions, then ask because I'm sure they will have some ideas for you. If you are really feeling brave, then call up a store, tell them your fabric requirements and your budget and what you're thinking of is the feel for the quilt and ask them to create a custom kit for you. You'll get a really nice surprise, and this could be a fun way to push you a bit out of your comfort zone. If you really can't choose specific fabrics, then you can go with the controlled scrappy look. Just choose scraps or a bunch of fat quarters in the colors that you pick, and then mix all these fabrics up and use them all in your quilt. The more fabrics you have, the less one individual fabric will stand out. Having a lot of variety will add interest and depth to your piece. If you have a large scrap collection, you can just go with super scrappy. Just sort out your scraps into light values and dark values 
and then use a bit of everything in your quilt. This will be really great, especially if you have quilts with a lot of small pieces. You might choose to use one main fabric as a background to give it a unifying feel, but that's not required. Once you've chosen your fabrics, then make one sample block or little piece just to see how they go together. And if you like it, then don't overthink it, just jump in with the project. If you have any more ideas or tips for how to choose fabrics for your quilt, then be sure to leave a comment below because I would love to hear from you. For more quilting tips and tutorials, check out my website, evitastudio.com.